Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'm your website guy. In this video I'll show you how to create a menu in WordPress step by step. You will learn how to set up a basic menu and a drop down menu right in WordPress, no plugins needed. You can also customize your menu even further in the customizer, but this depends a little bit on your themes options. And if you want pro level menus, then you need to install a premium plugin to spice up things like this guy. Sexy Bell hugging a computer. Tip sweat punch. All right, here's my website. And as you can see, I have no menu right now. So let's change that by going to the WordPress dashboard and just navigate to appearance and menus. So First, we're just going to create a new menu and you can do it by clicking on this link here. Just create a new menu and then you're going to give the menu name. It doesn't really matter. Just call it something like the main menu or whatever you want to call it. Mac, 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 Mac. OK, OK, Arnie, you can call it that too. It's just for you. It's not going to appear anywhere. And then click on create menu here. And now you can see here in drop down, I have a few different menus and we just created this one. So I'm going to use it, keep it here. And now what we need to do is add things to it. So it's completely empty right now, but we can add different kinds of pages. So for example, I have here, um, I can add a blog page about us and contact us. You don't usually add home because you want to just click on the logo of your website and then it takes you to home page. So I'm going to skip that and I'm going to click on add to menu. So now we have these ones here. You can see. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. And you can just drag and drop if you want to change the orders. For example, I want to have the blog here about contacts. Yes, that's the right order. And really important thing you need to do is don't forget to in here in menu settings, link it to the primary menu. Now it might be called main menu here or something like that, but usually it's primary menu, link it to that. And this is basically just assigning this menu element to a certain position, which is in this case, primary menu. So if I save the menu and then I refresh my homepage, you'll see it appears here. Just don't forget to assign it here and you see that there's also other options, but that really depends on your theme. You can try out where else it would show up. For example, if you choose the secondary menu, I'm going to keep it like this. So now uh, what if I want to add a certain post? So here you just go to post. It's a drop down like this and you can choose a post. Usually it's not very common to use a uh, put a post like that, but what you could do is you could create a drop down menu where all your posts live. But we're going to do that in just a second. Oh, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Man. So then you have also custom links. These are uh, you can create any custom link. So let's say I want to for some reason, I want to link to Google. So I'm going to just add the URL here like this. And then I'm going to call this menu Google and add to menu. And you see it appears here and you see here there's a page type and you have also custom link. So if I say the menu, and again, if I refresh the home page, you'll see Google appears here. And if I click on it, it'll just take you to Google's home page. So basically you can create custom links to your own website or to external websites. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you what you put in here. Bitch, yeah. My name is Robert. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff. Make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Now, if you start having too many links in the menu, you can turn one of them links into drop down menu. And it's really easy to do in WordPress. Let me show you how. Now, the fourth type of menu you can add is categories. And uh, these are just if you want to link to certain categories of your posts. So I have two here. Uh, let's say I'm going to add them here, both of them. Add to menu. And what's cool, if you want to have a drop down menu so that it saves a bit of uh, space, all you have to do is drag this slightly forward 
and it becomes the sub item of the item above it. Same thing with this one. I want to have these as the sub items of this one and I'm going to rename it actually. So you can do it by clicking on this arrow here and I'm going to just remove the URL because I don't want to, I don't want this to link into anything and I'm going to call it category like this categories like this then save menu and if you go to the website you'll see you have categories here and when you hover over it or maybe in your theme you need to click on it you'll see you have other categories here so these are the actual categories cool you can't click on categories because it's a not the link anymore but you have these two if i click on them it'll take you to this category all right well, let's say you just added the menu that you actually, uh, maybe there's too many elements now. You don't want to remove one. This about us page, not so important. Let's remove it. You click on the arrow and you have here, remove. And you see it just disappears here. Save menu. And again, if we would refresh the page, it would disappear from the menu. As you can see, the menu looks pretty basic right now, right? If you want to stylize more in most themes, it is possible to customize the menu even further. If you want to stylize it more, then you have to come to your WordPress and here on the left under appearance, you have this customize. I'm going to right click on it and open a new tab. And this is where usually all the themes have customization options. In some premium themes, you might have a, a specific like a menu here somewhere where it's you customize it there. But especially with the free WordPress themes, they all have this section. And if it doesn't, you can tell this to the developers. Come back. Depends a little bit what you have there, but in my case, I have this header here and I can style the header here as much as I want. For example, in this case, I can choose what position the logo takes. You'll see it switches here. You see the menu is on the left and then you have the logo in the middle. And then, for example, there's also the, you have a, the logo is on top and the menu is below and they're sort of under each other. And other things is, for example, this one is now, you see that it sticks, but you can actually make it unstick. That means it just stays there. Really depends on your preference. And again, depends on your theme. So this is just something I want you to know that you might have extra things that you can customize. Uh, and then once you're done customizing, don't forget to publish it. And then all the changes will appear there. One more thing. You want to always double check that your menu looks great on mobile devices. Because most people use their phones to visit websites. The cool thing is that you can actually check this right in your browser. Let me show you how. So just go to your website and you can right click anywhere. And then you have this inspect element. Just click on it. It will open up this dev tools and it depends a little bit on your browser. In most browsers, you just need to click on this icon with mobile phone and tablet and it will change the layout. And then here at the top, usually you can change which device you want to emulate. So in this case, it's just an, uh, an older iPhone. Hi. Okay. So you can see here now we have the mobile menu. And when I click on this one, it opens up a new layover and in here you can do the same things as you could do on desktop so for example this one opens up and you can click on this works exactly the same but you should you should also double check that this works properly that all the links show up nicely because you might have some extra customization options in the wordpress customizer so for example i have here mobile menu and there's not much i can do here but for example I can set the mobile menu slide from left or top. Just something you want to know. If you think your theme is not customizable enough, then you could get a plugin like Elementor Pro, which is a page builder, but also has a drag and drop menu and header builder. It's a paid tool, but you have a lot of flexibility and freedom to build a menu like you want it. So let me show you a few examples what I mean. And so if you need something more fancy than that, you could consider Elementor Pro plugin, which is a paid plugin. But in that case, you can build headers like this, where you have even a title, a subscription to your newsletter and, and the menu items themselves. Or maybe a two level menu like this one. 
and with the subscribe button here if you want a bit more minimalistic look you could also build something like this where it opens up a layover with big menu items like this one here so again this is a paid plugin and if you're interested in this you can check out the description for a link to a video that shows you all these elements and how to use them next check out my top six plugins that every wordpress website should have these will improve your page load speed seo and security or if you want to know where to get royalty-free images check out the second video whoosh